Hello, everybody out there in SPTV Nation. <laughs> My name is Holly Lewis, and you may have seen me in your in a lot of the chats. I've been watching Aaron A.A. Ron since his uh, when he was running for office, and I had watched, uh, of course, Leah Remini and the um, and the aftermath shows. Uh, I am involved in SPTV because one of my friends in Nashville who passed away in 2010 has a daughter whose mother got involved in Scientology. And um, when I asked her about it privately on Facebook, and said that I knew that it was a cult, she immediately unfriended me. And I had babysat my friend's daughter. They were not married, so, and I'm probably telling too much about them. I don't want to get them involved in this. I'm just doing this because I want my friend's daughter. He's not here to protect her. And so I'm doing this to try and help shut this cult down, uh, possibly, if we all stick with it. Uh, to uh, help get her out and let her know that she has a safe place to go if she wants to get out through either uh, the SPTV Foundation or the Aftermath Foundation, which is where I started. And I'm not going to get in the middle of all that drama. So as long as there's a place for her to go to get uh, some assistance if she needs it, that's all I care about. So anyway, moving on to the topic at hand. Oops, I keep touching the computer and jiggling it. Sorry. I'm not good at this. I'm new at this. And um, and I have a lot of anxiety doing things like this. So bear with me. But here's my idea. I've been, everybody keeps saying they need to revoke Scientology's tax-exempt status. Why aren't we directly going to the source? That's what I always do. I always go to the source. And if the source is the IRS, then why aren't we talking to them directly? And I'm sure this has been done in the past. And I'm sure a lot of the younger people, uh, I'm a boomer. Okay, boomer. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of the younger generations may or may not know that they still have buildings and brick and mortar buildings where you mail your taxes into. I have to do that. So um, instead of doing it on email, some people do the direct deposit, but I mail mine in still to this day. So, uh, sorry. Okay, so here's my idea, which these cards are not the correct size. Um, and I would have to just, all you got to do is look online or con look on the USPS to find out the exact size of cards but I'm just showing you this as an example of what I'm thinking. And this is what I'm thinking. Send, bombard the IRS, sorry, shaking the computer again, with these cards in snail mail just to get some awareness raised within the IRS. What's going on out here in SPTV. And as a matter of fact, we should put that on the card, which I just forgot to do. So, I mean, we I'll just add something on here. We could just put something on here like this, but here's my kind of idea. Let me try and figure out how to line this up. Danny, oops, everything's backwards. Danny Werfel is the commissioner of the IRS. So he's the head honcho guy. And the address, there are three brick and mortar buildings that I have found within the United States. And all you really have to put, oops, is IRS. You can write it out, Internal Revenue Service, if you want to. There's one here in Austin, Texas. Hey, hey, Pearl Snappy. I hope Pearl Snappy sees this. Somebody get this to Pearl Snappy. 73301. 00 dash 0010. And then it just, it said online USA. So I just put that. And they're just right on there in red. Red's probably the best color to get attention. Revoke Scientology tax exempt status. 
put your return address and a stamp. And then again, this is just an example. And then turn the postcard over and write it again. Write that man's name, Danny Werfel, Werfel. Revoke Scientology tax exempt status. And then we could, if you want, I mean, let's do, let's put SPTV YouTube or something like that on here. That would probably be good too. That just occurred to me right now. So the other ones, I hope y'all got that first address. And then the other, the next one is, hold on, IRS Ogden, Utah. 84201-0010. Same thing. And then the third one is, on this one I wrote, Commissioner Danny Werfel. IRS, Kansas City, Missouri. Hey, hey, relatable, Reese. Uh, I was actually born in Kansas City. Uh, 64999-001. Uh, Reese would be another good one to get uh, involved in this because she has a large following. As you can see on my YouTube, I have like 250 subscribers <laughs> and probably three of them look at my YouTube ever. Okay, so and finally, the lady who's in charge of the Danny Werfel guy, and I'm not real smart about all of this government stuff. But her name is Janet Yellen. She is the Secretary of Treasury. She enforces and administers the IRS laws. Now, I, I looked all this stuff up and tried, checked all this stuff. I'm like, how can we email her? And if you email her, sorry, I'm shaking, my hands are shaking. You go, it just takes you to whitehouse.gov slash contact, which listen, I have emailed the White House about other things and they've actually responded to me. So uh, it's worth a try. You can email her there. And this number is just the White House comment line. And you can leave a message, I think. And gosh, can you see the hours? I just wrote this all down. Hold on. The hours are 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday through Thursday. You might get a person. I don't know. I got the answering machine. And, of course, this oops, this is the address to the White House, which, again, we could do the same card thing to the White House if anybody's up for that. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I don't know what NW, I guess Northwest. Uh, Washington, oops, I left off the in Washington, D.C., 20500. So this woman, I think, I think might be in charge of the Danny man at the IRS. Okay, so who I can't believe I recorded this and I'm going to post this. And thank you for bearing with my uh, with me through my nerves and all that stuff. But if anybody is interested in, the, in this, I've emailed Aaron, I've emailed Mindy, I've e I emailed someone else. I think I emailed Jeffrey Augustine. Um, I know Sassafras was talking with me. She was the one who suggested the cards because I was going to do an envelope, just a blank, empty envelope. But she said they might, it might be better to do postcards because... For some of you young kids, they used to send like bad things like anthrax and stuff in envelopes. So they might get, you know, it might not get through. So a postcard would be better. But even if you only could do an envelope, and I know this is old school, but again, it is to try and get awareness raised at the IRS because they do not accept email. I checked that. I did check that. They don't accept any sort of email. So it's, you know, you have to do something. So if anybody is interested in helping with this campaign, or maybe it's just a stupid idea, but if I could get some feedback on it, I could know whether to try and push it forward or just give it up. 
So with that said, thank you so much. Everybody have a great day. Thank you for watching this video and uh, be sure and listen to your Van Halen. This is a poem I wrote about Eddie Van Halen. If you're interested in that, let me know. I have those for sale. Okay, guys, see you later. And rock on SPTV. Bye.